The first thing you need to do is go to the office. Press E to interact. It opens up. We're currently in Sanctum Mesa. That's the place that looks like a resort. We want to go to Crimson Waste, because that's the only place we can go to in Private Beta. These are Kryptons, which is a material that you need to um, purchase to be able to enter these regions when it's the full game's been released. But at the moment, we're in Private Beta and it's free. Okay, for the purposes of this video, we're going to go to Stage 2. And that's so that I can explain to you how there is different tiers of Illuvials and what shards you need to use. First thing we need to do is find a wake. Okay, spotted a wake. So we can approach, fall, jump. When you jump, time slows. And we can, um, yeah, shoot with time slowing down. Press E to interact. You can press E to scan or R to fight. In this case, we're going to scan first just to see what's on the other side. Okay, let's go. So press R and we'll enter. Here we go. <laughs> okay, quick rundown on the on the screen. At the bottom here, we have our alluvials that we can use to fight, and we need to fight against these guys and win the battle to be able to um, use a shard to capture them. At the top, we have this purple bar, which currently says it's 212, which is representing our dimensional stability. And the more alluvials that we place on the board, um, with the higher the cost, the more that's going to be reduced. So if we were to place some that are simply um, too much, uh, it'll, it'll shrink right down, shrink right down. I will show you. Yeah, so this sphere that's coming in here, um, it's all basically shrinking in and we've used too many. So we can get rid of um, some some of our alluvials. Okay, so yeah, we're probably overpowered for this fight and we'll give it a go anyway. Why not? You know what I mean? Why not? We'll put these guys up here and yeah. Let's go. Your download is complete. You're too much of a waste for space. We were successful. And now we have the opportunity to catch some alluvials. Just before you go and put any shard on an alluvial, you need to check what their tier is. So the Lynx is tier two and the Kukri is tier one. Okay, so we're gonna go for the Lynx and he's a tier two. It's represented by those two oblongs that are pink at the top of his square. So we wanna use a shard that is specifically for a tier two. This purple shard is the one. So yeah, we'll put that on the Lynx. Yes, we're gonna confirm. After his little growl. Come on, mate. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yes. Yes. Look at that. We're successful. Okay. So now we have our links. Little beauty. And we still have enough to try to get some more. So we might go the Kaka. The Kaka is a tier one. So this shard here says tier one and you'll notice at the top of the card, it's just got the one oblong. So we can use that. It's a quick way to identify your shards until you learn the colors and everything. Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh no, not only did we uh, not capture the Kaka, he got away, so we can't actually have another go. Yeah, that's it. So we'll try Atlas, confirm. And we now have an Atlas, just like that. 
It's technically our very own NFT when the game comes out. And now the encounter has collapsed because uh, we've run out of the dimensional stability. Okay. To ensure that we um, know we've captured him, um, our deck was full before we entered the region. And yeah, we don't have it, but to make sure that we do, what we can do is we travel back to Sancta Mesa. Normally you would use up all your energy, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to head back. So press E to interact, T to travel. And off we go. Okay, once you're here, click on the map, it's the quickest way. Teleport across. Now we want to go directly to the locker. Two boards here, and that's straight over here. Here's the locker. And yeah, we should see our little links. So if we click open it up by pressing E, click on Alluvials, and there's our links, the one we just captured. And he's now all yours, your very own. That's how it's gonna be when the game's released. Hope you found that helpful. If you didn't dislike it, please leave a like. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be making a few more tutorial videos. So yeah, feel free to check them out if you're interested and new to the game.